My heart is not gonna is gonna be set only on him. I have eyes only for him. So Revelation 19 verse 7 says this. Let us be glad. Wouldn't that be nice if we just had all the churches full of joy? If God would just restore joy to his house, joy to our hearts. Let's get it down where it belongs. Got any joy? Is there any joy in your life? I mean, we come to church and we look like a, we've been sucking on persimmons all day. I know what that's like. I used to do that as a kid. We had persimmon trees, you know. Go out in the woods and we had persimmon trees. Man, if you got a green one, woo, it would make you pucker. That's what, man, you go into most churches and look like a bunch of sad sack religious down in the dumps. Looks like they've got the weight of the world on them. Where's the joy? Where's the joy of the Lord? It's not something that comes on you. It's something that comes out of you. See, you've lost the joy of your salvation, and we got to get that back. You know, the only way you're going to get your joy is just to join Him, spend time with Him, let Him touch you fresh and new, get the joy of the Lord, because that is your strength. And in these last days, we are going to have to be strong. We are going to have to be strong because God is calling us, every one of us, you included, to do great exploits for Him. He's calling you to run faster than you've ever run. He's calling us to go like we've never gone before. It doesn't matter what age you are. It's all about the heart. God will use you right where you are. And He'll use you in, in ways that are greater than anything you could imagine. He's about to do things that are going to just blow our little minds. You're going to think, man, I cannot believe God just healed that person of cancer when I prayed. Come on. Do you believe He'll do that with you? Do you believe you can walk into a hospital in America? How about in Illinois? How about in Carbondale? And clean out the whole hospital. Heal every person in it. That's what I'm talking about. See, we have been so dumbed down in church, we don't know the truth anymore. That happened in the 1940s and 50s. They did that stuff. It really happened. Lots of hospitals. It happened. Well, the media's not going to tell you that. Government's not going to tell you that. And the problem is the church doesn't even tell you that anymore. They forgot about it. We've lost it. But the Bible tells me in Acts chapter 3 that we are in the days where God is going to the restoration of all things. The days of the restoration, the restitution of all things. God's going to restore that to the church. The gifts of the Spirit in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. One of the gifts is the gifts of healings, the working of miracles, the gift of faith. Where are those things in the church? They need to be practiced. They need to be practiced here so you can be perfected in them, so you can go out there and do the stuff. But we, we're afraid to practice. The gift of prophecy. We're afraid to prophesy. Well, what if I get it wrong? What if I mess up? What if I say something that's not God? That's why you do it in here. We practice. This is a perfecting meeting, not a perfect meeting. This is where it's safe to make a mistake. We're not going to crucify you. We're not going to hang you over hell like a hot dog until you burn. We're not. We're going to love you. We're going to pick you up. We're going to say, it's okay. Try again. Give it another shot. Let's say it to the Lord. Uh, brother, that's not really scripture. Okay. Try again. Read your Bibles. I'm going to prophesy and start reading the Bible. You start speaking the Word of God out of your mouth. Amen. I don't know why I got off on all that, but that's the truth. Let us be glad. I only got to the first four words. My goodness. And give honor. Uh-oh. There's another thing missing in the church today. Honor. We don't honor. We don't honor the leaders. We don't honor our brothers and sisters. We don't honor our elders. We don't honor the, the aged. We don't honor the children. We don't honor. There's no honor in this church these days. There's no honor in the world. It's just dog eat dog. It's, it's what can you do for me? How can you help me become bigger, greater? What can you do to make me better? When Jesus said, the greatest among you is going to be the least. The first is going to be the last. If you want to be a leader, be a servant of all. Be clothed in humility, not pride. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to Him. We can just stop right there. Let us be glad, rejoice, and give honor 
to Him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and His wife hath made herself ready. That means be prepared. She's been prepared. God's going to work in His people, folks. He's going to work through us, but He's got to do a work in us first. Amen? Anybody agree with me? He's got to do a work in us. He's got to do a work in our hearts. He's got to build faith in us. We've got to believe the Word of God. You know, when you start believing is when you start acting on it. When you start doing what the Word says.